Hi everyone, welcome back to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will code a simple standalone camel example. The use case we will be coding here is moving the files from the input directory to the output directory. If you remember from the prior tutorials, in camel everything is a route. In general terms, your route will have a starting point and an ending point. Let's take a look at how a camel route looks like. In camel, the route starts from a from method and ends with a to method. The code that is present inside the parentheses are called the URI. Let's explore what are the different parts that are present in that URI. In general, URI has three parts. Let's talk about the first part, which is a file. The file is nothing but a component in camel world. If you are connecting to a different source here, we are going to copy the file from one folder to another folder. Let's say your use case is to connect to a Kafka topic or a camel. In that case, you will use a appropriate component. Let's say you are going to connect to a Kafka topic. So in the place of file, you will have Kafka over there. Let's talk about the next part. The part two is data slash input, which is the actual path where we are going to read the files from it. That particular part is called the context path. Part three, question mark. So this is where you provide some additional options for that particular URI. So here we have provided no op equal to true, meaning do not perform any operation after you copy the files from it. Now let's get to the coding part of it. So in order uh, to um, facilitate the coding, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open IntelliJ and then I'm going to create a project. And in order to build a camel route, we need this dependency in our pom.xml. So the reason why I say pom.xml, we are going to build a Maven project in IntelliJ. Let's go to the IntelliJ and then create a simple project first. So here I have the IntelliJ open. I'm going to click create new project and then I have the project selected as uh, Java JD Java version 1.8.131 that is the version I have installed in my machine click next I'm going to provide a group ID so we are learning camel here and then I'm going to give that uh, group ID as learn camel followed by that you need to provide the artifact ID which is nothing but the project output learn camel simple hyphen file so here we are going to copy the file from one location to another location that's why I gave the artifact name as learn camel we are learning camel and then hyphen simple hyphen file then click on next so here you are going to Select the location where you want the project to be. So I'm going to create a, there is a folder called learn camel in my location in my uh, local. So I'm going to click open and then click finish. What this will do is this will create a project and then it will take me to the former XML. So here I'm going to import enable uh, I'm going to enable auto import. So this means as soon as you add the dependencies in your uh, Palmer XML, this is going to automatically import all the dependencies, whatever you mention in the Palmer XML. Let's expand this. So right now there are no libraries present because we did not provide anything in the Palmer XML. Let's go ahead and provide the dependencies. So I'm going to copy the dependency from the presentation. Otherwise, what you can do is let's open the uh, Chrome and then let's type Apache Camel Core Maven and then click over here, go to the 2.20.1, that is the latest version. And then copy it from here and then put it in our put it inside the dependencies as soon as you add it and then if you click on enable auto import what happens is you see here right all these dependencies 
got downloaded from the maven and added to your class path right now we have the camel core dependency that is downloaded and it is available to build projects using that library first thing we are going to create the package i'm going to create the package as com dot learn camel dot since we are going to play with files i'm going to create the package as file and in here i'm going to create a class called copy files camel so in order to launch this uh, particular uh, application i'm going to have a main method so as soon as you type psvm in intellij it is going to automatically give you that public static void main method first things first in order for the whole camel project to work we need the camel context let's define that camel context context equal to new default camel context now we have defined the context next thing is we need to add routes as i mentioned from the presentation in camel everything is a route there is a method in the context called add routes as you see here which takes the argument as route builder let's click on that in order to make this code more readable i'm going to put this in the presentation mode so we have the add routes method if you go inside the add routes method which takes in the routes builder what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new route builder object this route builder object has a add routes to com camel context method and it throws an exception which we need to handle it what i'm going to do is i'm going to surround it with try and catch and in here what i'm going to do there is a small mistake here it shouldn't be add routes builder there is a add route builder class i'm just undoing everything yeah this is a class which we need to select not the add routes builder and in here i am going to surround this with try and catch so after this this is where our actual route is going to set so as i uh, mentioned in the presentation a route always starts with a from which takes in the uri so in our case it's going to be file which is a component and followed by that we have data slash data slash input that's that's a directory which i'm going to create in a moment and then we are going to give no op equal to true i will explain you um why i gave no op equal to true then followed by that we give to which is the file colon data slash output so this is a directory which the files are going to be moved from the input directory to the output directory so now we have the route ready right and we have the context also initialized here next thing is we have to start the route i mean we have to start the context by the way as soon as you start the context it automatically starts the route followed by that you once the route completes copying the data from the input directory to the output directory next thing you have to stop the route so if you run this the program is not going to copy anything the reason being there is no time between the context start and context stop in order to be on the safer side what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a thread dot sleep of 5 milliseconds and in the place of this i'll give an intellij the shortcut is if you type s out it will give you the system dot out dot print ln i'm going to give exception is plus e so now we have the route all set for copying the data next step is we have to set up the directories i'm going to exit the presentation mode and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the directories so in here 
I'm going to create the data directory as data and followed by that I'm going to create the directory as input because there is a sub directory okay so in here I'm going to create two files file one dot txt which will have high and file two dot txt okay so here it has hi here it will have hello now we have two files which is going to be copied from the input directory and then move to the output directory so you might be asking i did not create this output directory will camel automatically create the directory before i explain you that let's run it and check So the route has started and uh, it took 5 seconds because we have a thread dot sleep of 5 milliseconds and if you take a look at it camel automatically created the directory and copied the files to file copied the files to the output directory and the code the number of lines of code that we wrote in order to achieve this is really really simple just these two lines these two lines are enough to achieve that functionality and initially i said we here we are providing the no op no op equal to true right so if we don't give this value what will happen let's run this and check since we gave uh, no op equal to true it did not do anything to the input directory now let's run this so if you notice here it removed that content file.txt and file2.txt and then it created a dot camel directory and then put it inside that dot camel directory since we had no op equal to true it did not do anything anything to the input files in the prior case okay now we have successfully built a simple camel route right let's see how we can achieve this functionality without camel and let's compare this with the traditional java way of achieving this what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a class copy files camel copy files camel copy files without camel and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a main method what are what are the three things that i need to do step one create a file object to read the directories step two read the files from the directory read the files from the directory and iterate the files step uh, 3 create the output stream and read the files right it's very uh, lengthy process step 4 Close the streams. So I have the code already available. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna copy it from there and then put it here. First things first, let's create the input directory. So here we have the file objects to read uh, the input directory and output directory. Followed by that, we are going to iterate the files right so first thing is we have to iterate from the input directory correct and then we are going to write the files and then close the streams here you see we are closing all the streams running through the streams and writing the files there is an unhandled exception i'm going to add the exception to the method signature 
unhandle unhandle exception add exception to the method signature so let's compare this one with the i might be missing some parentheses yeah let's compare this one with our camel road if we take a look at the camel road that we had built it is really really simple and very very slick but compared with this one check the number of lines and number of exception handlings that you have to um, capture and if something goes wrong in any one of these uh, steps it's gonna fail the complete uh, copy functionality but here it is very simple this is one of the advantage of using camel over any other traditional method let's recap what we did we have built a camel route that moves the file from one location to the another location and we compared the camel route with the traditional java program let's explore more about camel in the upcoming tutorials thank you so much